Today, I am talking about interleukin-6 from its discovery to clinical application, past, present, and future. <clears throat> this slide shows that the article published last year uh, in English papers, uh, recovery trial, tashirizumab, reduced death among seriously ill COVID-19 patient. Then what's the toshirizumab? Mm -hmm. Next. Toshirizumab is a humanized anti-IL-6 receptor antibody. Then the question is, what is IL-6? Next. <clears throat> More than 50 years ago, T-cell, B-cell uh, discovered in immune systems. B-cell produce antibody but the presence of T cell is required. So I speculate T cell produce certain molecules to stimulate B cells produce antibody called this molecule BCGF or BCDF. And uh, in 1973, uh, the presence of these molecules was Ident ident discovered enhancing soluble factor for IgG and IgE antibody response. And this, this molecule was finally isolate, uh, isolated and the cDNA was isolated. The interesting finding is that this molecule has a wide variety of biological functions. For example, if we prepare transgenic mass using IL-6 cDNA, then a, a tremendous growth of B cells. You can see that the tremendous increase of lymph node and spleen. And if we cross the, this mice with valve C mice, then we can uh, <clears throat> induce a typical plasma cytoma. So, so this uh, molecule IL-6 function as plasma cytoma uh, myeloma uh, inducing factor. And <clears throat> if we infect virus, antiviral effect is it's impaired as shown in this slide. And the, if we inject uh, tapentyl oil and induce the inflammation, then inflammatory function is very much reduced. So uh, this molecule is responsible for uh, antiviral antibody response as well as uh, induction of inflammation. <clears throat> Subsequent studies, many studies have been done. These, uh, B cells, uh, IL-6 act on B cells induce antibody production. It act on T cells and induce inflammatory TH17 cells. And the very interesting function is IL-6 uh, as a uh, fun IL-6 function as hepatocyte stimulating factor and <clears throat> In, induce uh, C reactive protein, fibrinogen, serum amyloid protein, heptidin, uh, <clears throat> and, and induce anemia and reduce aluminum. It functions on bone marrow cells and induce megakaryocyte differentiation. It also uh, uh, induce uh, osteoclast, uh, uh, induce rank ligand and uh, induce a differentiation of osteoclast and uh, involved in the bone absorption. It uh, function, uh, as I mentioned, it function as myeloma, plasma cytoma, growth factor, and uh, several other messenger uh, function, uh, messenger cells or keratinocyte. Then question, 
is how the uh, IR6 transduce signals into cells and show the wide variety of biological functions. So we isolated 80 kilodalton IR6 receptor, but this receptor has a very short intracytoplasmic portion and no signal transduction. And we then we isolated associated molecule called GP130. The, and the IR6, IR6 receptor interaction associate GP130 and the signal can transduced through GP130. And uh, IR6 receptor uh, also often uh, I, uh, release from cells and the present in the cerebral home. And the cerebral IR6 receptor bind with IR6 and <laughs> then uh, IR6 receptor uh, and IR6 complex uh, induce dimerization of GP130 and the signals can be transduced. And how signal transduced? Uh, the dimerized GP130 activated intracytoplasmic jack tyrosine kinases. And this jack kinase, uh, ty ty uh, tyrosine uh, tyrosine phosphorylation of STAT3 and the STAT3 dimerize and uh, move into nuclei and induce various uh, genes uh, <clears throat> induced by IR6. Interesting things is overproduction of IR6 shows that the various diseases such as, for example, cardiac myxoma, uh, patient who has a uh, benign tumors in uh, <coughs> heart show that uh, very strong uh, inflammation, fever, something. And uh, it due to uh, presence of myxoma in the heart. And the Kasselman disease, rheumatoid arthritis, and the systemic onset of juvenile idiopathic arthritis and various autoimmune inflammatory disease, such as serous disease, progressive sclerosis, reactive arthritis, polymyalgia rheumatica, aortitis, giant cell arthritis, uh, neuromyelitis optica, so on. Then, in order to treat these various diseases. We try to pre uh, block the signals, uh, IR6 signals. So we prepared antibody against uh, 80 kilodalton IR6 receptor and uh, try to block the IR6 and IR6 receptor interaction and uh, inhibit the signal transduction. Uh, and also this antibody, so, uh, neutralize soluble IR6 receptor and inhibit the dimerization of GP130. And this, uh, this anti IR6 receptor antibody was humanized and uh, this called Tashizma or Actimra. And uh, I'll show you several uh, uh, eff effect of this antibody onto several diseases. This is Kesselman disease. <coughs> uh, more than uh, 15, 1950s, uh, the, uh, doctor, Harvard Dr. Kesselman reported the fever and very several uh, very strong inflammatory symptoms and lymph node swelling. And this, if we uh, examine the lymph node, very uh, strong signals, IR6 production in germinal center cells. And the patient shows that the high fever every day. So we try to treat this patient with this antibody but broke by blocking the uh, IR6 and IR6 receptor interaction. Then the fever went down and uh, very high entire IRC deactive protein went down to zero. 
and the anemia recovered. And she, uh, this is summarized symptom. She react to protein went to down to went down to zero. Uh, serum amyloid protein went down. Hemoglobin went up, and anemia recovered. Albumin went up, and the IgG went down uh, to normal uh, levels, and the cholesterol increase. And all lymph node swelling disappeared. So uh, we, we can show that the anti irish receptor antibody can uh, treat Castleman disease. Uh, next case is juvenile idiopathic ar uh, arthritis. This five years boy suffered from fever and joint pain, swelling, and the skin rash, and the hepatosplenomegaly, and they cannot move. And uh, uh, <clears throat> his, his height not increase. And uh, surprisingly, eight, 18 months later, by the treatment of anti-Irish receptor antibody, Tashirizumab, this uh, boy now enjoys the swimming in Hawaii and the increase of his height 18 centimeter in 18 months. This shows that the tremendous uh, dramatic effect of Tashirizumab onto this disease. And uh, this is, uh, uh, this picture shows that uh, uh, high school, uh, high schools at, at the time of high school student uh, of this boy, completely healthy. And worldwide uh, randomized trial has been done and shows that uh, uh, Tashizumab is effective in systemic juvenile idiopathic arthritis. And the uh, New England Journal of Medicine said, a new era in the treatment of systemic juvenile idiopathic arthritis. Then, uh, <clears throat> rheumatoid arthritis, many patients are present. Uh, very high IR6 in joint compared to osteoarthritis. So we try to treat rheumatoid arthritis by anti irish receptor antibody. This is uh, experimental model. Collagen induced arthritis. You can see that the very strong inflammation in joint, massive inflammation of the, the inflammatory cells and uh, <clears throat> destroy the uh, uh, cartilage. And uh, th this B is, uh, is a almost completely normal. Uh, same experimental procedure, collagen induced arthritis, but no inflammation. What's the difference between A and B? B is IR6 uh, knockout mouse, no IR6 in this mouse, and no inflammation. This uh, shows that IR6, in the absence of IR6, no joint inflammation in uh, uh, collagen induced arthritis. So we applied uh, anti IR6 receptor antibody to human. And this is one patient <clears throat> morning stiffness, uh, joint pain, and swelling uh, reduced. And uh, C react to protein went down to zero, and fibrinogen went down. Uh, so that the result shows that the eff effectiveness of uh, Toshirizuma octemura for the treatment of uh, rheumatoid arthritis. So uh, large scale of uh, uh, <clears throat> randomized trial, international trial has been done uh, with 4,000 rheumatoid patients. And this is Japanese clinical trials. Uh, <clears throat> Yellow color is the uh, Actemra, Tashizma, and uh, uh, blue color is uh, DMAT, control DMAT. And American College Rheumatology, 20% uh, reduction 
50% uh, improvement and 70% improvement uh, and can get the, the significant uh, effect uh, of uh, Tashizma on uh, rheumatoid arthritis. This clinical trial completed in 2005. Uh, and the, as you can see, the in control the patient, uh, bo bone absorption and joint destruction. But uh, treatment with anti r 6 receptor antibody, no bone absorption, no joint destruction. If we cultured the uh, <coughs> peripheral um, monocyte and stimulate with IR6, cerebral IR6 receptor, then we can get that, uh, we can induce a rank ligand uh, stained by red, red occurrence. But in the presence of toxicizumab, this, this rank ligand expression is inhibited. So the, uh, if we continue the culture, then uh, multinuclear uh, osteoclast uh, are induced. But in the presence of toxicizumab, no osteoclast induction. Then the, the next, uh, another disease, giant cell arthritis, a clinical trial, international clinical trial has been done. And the New England Journal of Medicine published that uh, toxicizumab is effective in giant cell arthritis. As you can see, the, the presence of uh, treatment with toxicizumab uh, <clears throat> more than 50 percent sustained remission compared to the only uh, steroid hormone. And also, one of the giant cell arthritis, Takayasu disease, uh, you can see that the thickening, uh, thickening of wall of uh, descending out and the treatment that, uh, after two years, this uh, sickening is uh, almost disappeared and uh, uh, the disease symptom is rescued. So all these results show that the blockade of IL-6 signaling effective for treatment of rheumatoid arthritis group of autoimmune disease. Then the question is to be asked is, how is IR-6 production regulated? Why abnormal IR-6 production of gas? We found one molecule called arid 5 a 80 rich interactive domain, interactive domain protein, arid 5 a And this molecule bind the uh, three dash untranslated region, stem loop, and uh, stabilize uh, IR6, IR6 messenger RNA. And uh, uh, Professor Akira's group previously found ligonase, which also bind to the, the three dash untranslated regions of, of IR6 and destroy the IR6 messenger RNA and stabilize IR6 messenger RNA. And these two molecules, uh, this arid 5 a stabilize and the ligonase unstabilize. And the, these two molecules compete. And the, if arid 5 a increase by the, the certain inflammatory signals, then the, the uh, IR6 messenger RNA stop, uh, three dash UTR is stabilized and uh, more IR6 production and IR6 receptor uh, signals. And uh, this positive signals over production of IR6. <clears throat> and IR6 over production induce so called cytokine storm. And in mice, uh, 
uh, endotoxin shock is induced. For example, if we inject a large amount of lipopolysaccharide, LPS, then mice, 100% of mice die within three days. But anti-TNF, a small effect, about 30%. And anti-IL-6 receptor, uh, very much effective, or rescued endotoxin shock uh, uh, in mouse. And this effect is also applied to humans. This is the first case of the anti r 6 receptor antibody rescued uh, cytokine storm uh, shock uh, of patient. This is six years girl suffered from B cell leukemia and and done the uh, CAR chimeric antigen T cell receptor therapy. This is the first time, and this published in New, New York Times. And patient, uh, B, B cell leukemia disappeared, but patient showed that the very strong shock condition. What's uh, the CAR T cell therapy, chimeric antigen T cell receptor therapy, is that uh, this, this is B cell leukemia, so that the uh, she expressed CD19 and anti CD19 antibody uh, binding FAB portion was chimerized with T cell receptor. So, these T cells can recognize the tumor cells, B cell leukemia cells, and activate it and kill the uh, tumor cells. But activated T cells also activate macrophages, and the macrophages produce. A uh, large amount of IL-6, and then that the, uh, high fever uh, shock condition occurs. Uh, then uh, anti-IL-6 uh, anti receptor monoclonal antibody was was neutralized IL-6, and then what the effect? New York Times uh, described her level of one of the cytokine interleukin-6 or IL-6 has shot up a thousand fold. But uh, doctor said, order oh, this drug, Toshizumab. And the response he said was amazing. Anti-IL-6 receptor antibody, uh, increased IL-6 uh, decreased. And the C-reactive protein uh, decreased. And shock and high fever uh, is disappeared and patient rescued. And since then, uh, um, uh, <clears throat> anti-IL-6 receptor antibody has uh, given to the patient together with CAR T cells. Then uh, next is a uh, Two years ago, Wuhan, China, first COVID-19 uh, appeared, and the patient showed that uh, severe case of COVID-19. Patient showed that uh, uh, pneumonia and uh, cytokine storm and shock conditions. Yeah. And then these cytokine storm and shock condition uh, treated with tashizma because of the, uh, they have uh, experienced the tashizma with the effect of cytokine storm induced by CAR T cell therapy. And uh, about 20 cases of uh, severe uh, pneumonia and the cytokine storm patient with COVID-19 was rescued. This is our cases, very small number of patients, but uh, before treatment, IL-6 increase, IL-8 increase, MCP-1 increase, and uh, uh, 
TNF not included, but but interestingly, plasminogen activator inhibitor one in the increase. And the anti IL 6 receptor monoclonal antibody rescues at the uh, pneumonia and uh, uh, severe case of cytokine storm. And the uh, uh, C reactive protein went down, and the PI1 went down. And the uh, large scale of uh, treatment of patient in uh, Tashizma. Uh, <clears throat> a severe case of COVID-19. Uh, this is a retrospective cohort study. You can see that uh, a significant if, if effect, survival effect of uh, Tashizuma uh, in severe case of COVID-19 uh, published in uh, Lancet. So that the uh, uh, at, at that time, the, the Prime Minister uh, Johnson uh, televised that uh, he, he used Toshizma for the severe case of uh, COVID-19 shock conditions. Uh, and uh, this uh, title said that uh, uh, Boris Johnson struggled to pronounce new COVID-19 drug, Toshizma, the very difficult uh, uh, name. Uh, a, anyway, that uh, he recommended the treatment of Tashirizuma for the severe case of COVID-19. And the FDA also gives the emergency approval to Aptemra for the uh, severe case of uh, COVID-19 uh, pneumonia, as a, a patient, the cytokine storm patient. And uh, if we measure that uh, uh, serum IL-6 levels, COVID-19 uh, IL-6 is not so high compared to CAR-T-induced uh, cytokine release syndrome, cytokine storm, or acute uh, respiratory distress syndrome. Such, such kind of patient is much higher uh, IR6, uh, uh, serum IR6 compared to COVID-19. Uh, but uh, COVID-19 also uh, uh, compared to other diseases also uh, plasminogen activator inhibitor on levels is very much high. Uh, and uh, so we uh, study the uh, Many uh, IC patient in ICU, which show that the cytokine storm, such as Zepsis, uh, acute respiratory distress syndrome, uh, bonds, and all these patients, IL6, IL8, MCP1, IL10 increase, and. Uh, PI1 also OG's patient uh, shown in country increase. And uh, we tested this is due to the stimulation of uh, vascular endothelial cells. We uh, studies in vitro studies by using uh, uh, cultured uh, vascular endothelial cells. And uh, if we stimulate IL-6, soluble IL-6 receptors. Then uh, IL-6, IL-8, MCP-1 is uh, very much increased. Uh, and uh, Toshirizuma anti-IL-6 receptor antibody uh, inhibit this increase uh, of IL-6, IL-8, MCP-1. And PI-1 also simultaneously inhibited by uh, anti IL 6 receptor antibody. So that uh, uh, in conclusion, uh, certain uh, stimulation through toll-like receptor who likes uh, uh, COVID-19 virus or uh, several other uh, uh, stimulation 
IL-6 is produced. And this IL-6 induced also by plasminogen activator inhibitor 1. And, and, uh, <clears throat> and then this, this by one uh, inhibit uh, induce a coagulation of the pre, uh, blood cells. Also that uh, the damage of endothelial cells and the vascular leakage and the blood pressure down and cytokine storm is occurred. But the, but anti IL-6 receptor antibodies, half-life is more than two weeks. Then that uh, we have to uh, think about uh, in infection during during these two weeks. So we at present we now try the uh, a very short half-life uh, anti IL-6 receptor antibody by introducing certain mutation into FC portion of this. Uh, molecules. So finally, <clears throat> this is su summarized of uh, our uh, milestone of the, the basic as well as chronic uh, studies of IL-6. 1986, IL-6 was cloned and the cloning of IL-6 receptor, NF IL-6, uh, uh, GP uh, GP-130, uh, and uh, STAT-3, and the negative regulator of suppressor of cytokine signals, and the role of pregnase and the ALIT-5A, and the mechanism of IL-6 production in various stages. And also in clinical field, uh, <clears throat> somatic synovial fluid, rheumatoid arthritis, and the Castleman disease, and the juvenile idiopathic arthritis, and the, all, all, all these results, the uh, treatment of uh, with Toshizumab was approved in Japan, EU, and the United States, and. <clears throat> And then the CAR T cell induced cytokine storm also uh, uh, used. And now COVID 19 induced cytokine storm uh, uh, also uh, uh, approved uh, UK, USA, and in Japan. And then <clears throat> this is our team when we isolate IL-6, IL-6 receptor associated molecules and signal transduction uh, about uh, 30 years ago. And this is at present, we are also studying the, the, uh, the uh, IL-6 injuries and uh, cytokine storm and uh, mechanisms. I'll stop here. Thank you very much. Thank you.